Hey everyone, it's Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. I would love for you to join me in crafting today if you have a project that you are wanting to work on or you just have some photos to print. I think it would be really fun if we can craft together. And if you do grab a project, please let me know in the comments down below what you're working on. Um, but today I have a special video to share with you because along with doing the process for one of my pocket pages in my 2020 album, um, I'm also going to be answering one of the most frequently asked questions I get here on my YouTube channel as well as over on Instagram. And and that is how I print my journaling onto my cards using a computer. Um, so I do not have a typewriter and a lot of times I prefer printing my journaling as opposed to writing it out myself, mainly because I can fit more writing onto these smaller three by four cards. My writing, I can get it pretty small when I'm writing, um, but it still ends up taking up more space than when I print it off of my computer. So that, and then also I just really like the sort of neat typewriter fonts that um, go onto the cards. So anyways, that's what I love doing it that way. There are so many different ways that you can print your journaling. You could print out journaling onto a regular piece of printer paper, use like a Word document or something, print it off, um, cut it up. You can cut into little strips of, um, little word strips or something that you can add to a card. You can get really creative. You do not have to follow my method and I'm going to be using Photoshop just because that's how I do it. But just know that you do not need the Photoshop program in order to add journaling onto your cards. Um, I think a simple Google search to figure out how you can use other programs to print would, um, would just lead you to um, a solution for that if you are trying to print onto your journaling cards. So just know that, that this is my method, but there are so many different ways that you can approach journaling. So before we get into all of that, I want to kind of prep my cards. I'm making kind of custom journaling cards here by using some stamps. I am using the 2020 documenter kit and the stamp subscription from Studio Calico. And so I picked out some of the cards that had some blues and some muted pinks and some other natural colors that I thought worked really well with this spread. Um, this was all about a recent trip that we took to Lake Tahoe, California. It was really snowy there at the time. We were actually going up there for snowboarding, um, but I injured my back about a week before we left. So I decided to stay behind in the city center area and I just did some exploring on my own and honestly it was really really nice to just not have an itinerary and to just be quiet with myself and just wander around and see what was there. I walked into a coffee shop and read there with a good cup of coffee for about an hour and it seemed very ideal, even though it was very cold. Um, I was really grateful for the experience and just to have a little bit of time to myself. And so I just wanted to make sure that I got this trip documented in my Project Life album, even though it was only about two and a half days in total, including driving time. Um, it, I had a lot to journal about, so it took up an entire spread in my album. So I'm just arranging those and now I'm going to go ahead and get into the journaling. So I have my laptop here. I'm just opening up a Photoshop document and sizing it to three by four. I'm going to share my screen with you in just a second so you can see how this looks in Photoshop. But I just wanted to show you first. Um, my first step here is to measure the area that I'm going to print in on the physical card. So that's the card that I want to print on and I'm going to measure how far from the left and the top I need to set my text box. So I have about an inch on the left and I think I have about a half of an inch from the top. So when I go into Photoshop, that's where I'm going to draw my guidelines just so I can set my text box in the right area. So 
So I'm gonna go and open up a new Photoshop document, go to File and New. I'm just gonna name this journaling card. You want your width to be three and your height to be four for this particular card, but of course put in whatever measurements you're wanting to get there. So if you have a four by six card, you would do you know the width as six, the height as four. Resolution is 150. For any document that you're printing, you wanna print in CMYK, and then for the web, it's RGB. So it doesn't really matter because we're printing in just black text anyways. So once you have those set, obviously you wanna make sure your um, increments is in inches, and then go ahead and click OK. And so you have your three by four card here. And so I'm gonna draw in those guidelines that I had measured on my physical card. So I have an inch from the left, a, a half an inch from the top, and then I'm gonna give myself about a quarter of an inch from the right and the bottom. I do like to give myself at least a quarter of an inch whenever I'm printing on any card, um, just because uh, then you have a little bit of a white border and you don't your text isn't gonna go all the way to the edge because that just looks a little funky to me. Um, so there I have my text tool that I drew my text box and just writing out a little um, test print area. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add a border. So I'm gonna go over to my background layer and I will double click it so that I can unlock that layer, click okay. Then you're gonna double click on that layer that is unlocked, go to the stroke section, check that, go into the stroke section, and I'm just gonna change my stroke to black, so I'm using black ink, and you don't have to change the size, I'm just gonna set it to something a little bit thinner, so two, and then your position, you want it to be on the inside. That way you'll actually be able to see the line when you print out your document. And so that is the document. I'm gonna go to a file and print. And by the way, I'm using CS3, so this might look a little bit different for you. I'm using the same program that I used in college. So um, this, is definitely a dinosaur of a program now, but I still love it. Okay, and then you're gonna go ahead and print. You'll get prompted with, um, possibly, I don't know, it could be just because I have an older version, but you might get a prompt and just click okay. And then it should print your document in the center. So I'm gonna go here, I just hooked up my printer and I'm gonna go ahead and print this out. And so what you'll have after printing out that document is this white piece of paper that you see underneath the card. So that is your test print. Now you can go ahead and apply some removable adhesive to the piece of paper. I just do a few strips and really press that card on there so it doesn't move in your printer. And then you wanna follow the exact same step, just run it through your printer again, but make sure that you remove the border this time or the stroke just to make sure that it doesn't print on the card. So that is the completed journaling card. So I just wanted to show you that this process is not always perfect. I ended up printing my old journaling that I did for this card on top of this one that I had stamped on. So that's unfortunate. I had to kind of scrap that idea. Um, and I'll probably end up using this side for another project. But I went ahead and brought in this card. Um, it's just kind of a filler and I love this um, little saying here. And then this is how my other journaling cards turned out. So it's not perfect. I mean, it's not perfectly aligned here by any means, but I feel like this is really good enough. And um, it's just a great way to get journaling, type journaling onto these cards if you don't have a typewriter. And so you'll probably need to do a couple of test prints in the beginning just to figure out how your printer works 
and what way you need to feed your paper in so you can print on the right side of your journaling card and in the right direction. But honestly, after you do it a couple of times, it really does become second nature. And I have stopped doing the test prints. I don't actually print out a new piece of paper every time. I just reuse the same one. Um, I just make sure as long as I have enough adhesive to stick my card down and it's gonna run through the printer okay then I just keep using the same paper over and over again so this is another way that I'm showing you that you can print off your journaling since I messed up that card before I wasn't going to risk it again so um, I had already printed off that journaling onto a white piece of paper anyway so I just trimmed it down and added it directly to my card works just as well you could do that off of a word document or anything like that so again don't let not having photoshop if you don't have that program don't let it stop you there are many other ways that you can um, add journaling to your cards i'm a very firm believer in just using the tools that you have so definitely go for it and hopefully you found this helpful thank you if you left a question or a comment um, before i'm sorry it took me so long to finally put this together and to share my process but hopefully you found it helpful i am just going to finish up these journaling cards by doing a little bit more stamping and embellishing and that is going to wrap up this process so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and click that red subscribe button if you want to make sure that you don't miss out on any future videos and I will catch you next week for my next video. Bye!